Good morning Pisces! Welcome to my channel, my name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing a money reading for you guys. This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see, how's your money situation going to go? How or what advice might be useful at this time? Thank you so much for being here, my beautiful, beautiful fishies. Thank you for being a part of the Pisces Club. And thank you for being a part of the Pisces Marathon. Honestly, I took yesterday off. I was feeling kind of tired. So this is a two-day marathon instead of the three-day marathon. <laughs> it's all the same, I think. But now I've got some good, good rest. And now I actually feel good for this. All right. Universe, please bring in the most relevant, important messages for Pisces in money, finances, investments, all sorts of financial related stuff. <laughs> Before we start, please make sure that you're subscribed. I am super excited with the growth of this channel. I would love to keep it going. It would make me really happy. So if you would, if you resonate with the energy, if you resonate with the readings, and would like to get a lot of Pisces Focus readings offered to you on your feed, then you can click on that subscribe button. And if you would like to receive a little, a little pop up, a little message when um, I post, you can click on the little bell as well. The only disclaimer is on the weekends I post a lot, so that little bell might go off quite a bit. Alrighty, Pisces, this is looking interesting. Hmm. Alright, so right now, Pisces, you're being uh, shown here as the Nine of Pentacles. This is a very beautiful, abundant card, meaning that right now you have a comfortable lifestyle, you have what you need. You have a roof over your head, you have, you have food on the fridge, you know, you have what you need to be comfortable. You may even have a little bit more. You may even have like a, a bit of luxury here and there, opportunities to do things that maybe others don't have and things like that. Okay, right now things are good. They seem good. They seem like they're going to be improving. And right now, Pisces, you may also be in a moment of your life in which you are sort of learning to tame your inner instincts that could be detrimental to you. It is a time to enjoy though. It is a time to enjoy everything that you have accomplished. In the past maybe few months or few years, you started something Pisces. And you started something that may have been completely nuts for other people. You know, with the fool, the fool is a character here in the tarot. He is so inspired. He is so moved by what he wants to do, that new beginning that he wants to embark on, that he only sees the good. He sees the potential, he sees the opportunities, but maybe he doesn't see the risks. And that's why he is um, basically about to follow the cliff here, um, except for the dog, which represents the spirit guides uh, holding him back from that, okay? But this level of inspiration is something that you had at some point in the past and you started something that other people just did not get. <laughs> they just didn't get it. They did, did not see the potential that you saw. And now, after all the work that you've put in, the time has passed, you are enjoying the benefits of that. And it, it's, it's good. It's really good. There's something here that's concerning me a little bit, Pisces. In the near future, we've got the Seven of Swords, and we've got the High Priestess as your challenge. I gotta say, I don't love that. Um, in the near future, the Seven of Swords could be someone trying to... trick you, lie to you, get away with something. This could be someone who is trying to steal from you, take advantage of you. Be very careful, Pisces. 
in regards to this. Be very careful about the expenses that you that you pay. Just make sure the numbers are right. Make sure that everything is transparent. This could be a dark haired man. Dark haired man. Trying to get away with something in the near future here. It's like they see that you have a lot and they want they want it for themselves somehow. What I don't like either is that the high priestess is in the challenge position. So this is your intuition. This is your connecting connection to spirit. So this may be something that you don't see coming. This may be something that um, you're not intuiting. The number seven could be relevant for some of you guys. The message from the universe is that you're going to have to make a choice, an important choice here. And, you know, the answer may not be completely clear. Let me let me get some clarifiers. Let me get some clarifiers. Universe, what's up with this seven of swords here in the future? What is this talking about for the money for Pisces? Capricorn, a Virgo, or Taurus energy. This could be a dark haired man that you're giving an opportunity to, maybe to work with you, work for you, to, I don't know, help you with something. And it's like you are giving them a fair pay. But they're going to try to squeeze as much as they can out of you in a way that is not nice, in a, in a way that's not transparent or legit. Like instead of asking for it, they're going to kind of trick you into it or that's what they're planning to do. Let's see what else comes through there. <clears throat> This is someone who maybe wants to come in, do their little dirty deed or whatever, and then leave. This could be something like, all right, you're hiring a new person or something like that. And this person comes in with all their good looks and all their good words. And they, even from the start, they have the intention of, okay, I'm going to be there for a second. I'm going to take as much as I can, and then I'm going to go Pisces, or I'm going to just leave. No trace. So be very careful, Pisces. Don't let anyone have access to your assets. Don't let anyone uh, have, you know, any kind of password to your credit card or to your um, computer or bank account or anything like that if by any chance you have like a joint account with someone who's not protected like um a spouse or an ex or something like that and you both have your money in the same account but there's no need for you to like uh, sign the movements be very careful because i feel like someone here might want to just drain the account dry and leave disappear be very, very careful, Pisces. Um, and I say that because the High Priestess is in the challenge position. So it's like you may not see it coming. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. So you're going to have to make a choice, Pisces, right now. And the choice is it's better to be extra careful than to be oblivious. So even if you don't feel like that's what's going to happen, even, even if you don't feel like that could be a potential risk, it wouldn't hurt for you to put like a little extra layer of protection onto your assets and your things. It's a very unexpected message. 
But it has to do with a dark haired man. This person could be very depressed. This person could be very kind of like out of their right path. It's like they're just not seeing things correctly. They have a lot to be thankful for. They have a lot to be um, proud of. And it's like they're not seeing it. They want more. They want something different. And it seems like they want it from you, Pisces. So be careful with that. Maybe they have offered you to work with you, to help you, and something feels off. Listen to that. Listen to that. Just be extra careful at this time, Pisces. That's my recommendation. If you follow the channel a lot and you watch my readings constantly, you know that this is very uncharacteristic. But you get you guys know that I keep it real. So if this is what's coming up, this is what needs to come up. Right now, Pisces, you may be um, in need of a different perspective. Maybe you're holding on to a little bit of a naive, open-hearted perspective in regards to this particular person. Like, I feel like you may be very defensive in regards to other people. But with this person, it seems like you have lowered your guard a little bit. So uh, just, you know, beware. However, however, things seem to actually be good anyway. Like maybe you take action, maybe you protect yourself and you don't let this happen. Because in your environment, it seems like things are moving quite quickly. It seems like there's a lot of progress. There is a lot of movement forward. Opportunities, invitations, calls, proposals of all sorts coming to you. As a result of your hard work, Pisces. So keep yourself focused, keep working really hard, doing what you have to do. And ultimately, you're going to be uh, feeling this way, like the Queen of Wands, which is a very powerful um, energy in which you feel kind of like a celebrity. You're beautiful, you're handsome, you're powerful, you have everything under control. You manage so many things, but you do it perfectly, you know, you look good. <laughs> So, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. Just be aware of that in the near future because that does concern me a little bit. Let's see what the angels have to say here. Advice for Pisces in money right now. Declutter. You'll feel better and more focused if you will take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. Okay, okay, okay. Way of a less dramatic advice. Good. <laughs> I still want to know more about that, so I'm going to pull some cards to clarify that a little further. Take a divinely guided change. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk, and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Okay. And last message from the angels. Unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas gar guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is to take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. All right. Now let's get back into the drama. I want to know more. <laughs> I want to know more about this. Like, who is trying to con my Pisces? No, 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 no. I'm not going to allow that. No, 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 no. Let's see. Universe, please bring in as much detail and clarity, accurate descriptions and messages about this that's coming up in the near future for Pisces. What is the best advice for Pisces? Who may this person be? Dark haired man, that's all I'm hearing. Dark haired man, okay.
Okay. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This is someone who's very well aware of how good you're doing financially. And if they don't know it for a fact, they can only imagine. The sun. A Leo, maybe? Clarity is going to be shed here. So I think before anything bad happens, the clarity is going to come in really bright. A Knight of Wands. Hmm, yeah, this is sort of what I was getting. Like, someone that sees you, they see the potential to get in, get what they want, get out. So this is a very fleeting energy. In and out energy. Non-committal. So this could also be someone who's very charming when it's convenient for them. I'm getting a lot of different signs, you guys. This could be an Aries, could be a Sag as well. Um, but this seems to be someone who has a plan, Pisces, to come in. Get what they want from you, financially speaking, and then either ghost you or move on real quick or something like that. I don't like it at all. Yeah. Death. This person could be sort of like a family member who has never been around, who heard that you were getting some kind of inheritance, and they want to come in, be your best friend, win you over, make sure you give them part of it, and then disappear. This person is ruthless. They have no intention to be mild about it. It's like, it's bad. You are in a very different frequency though. Do you, do you guys know who I'm talking about? If you do, comment in the comment section below. Let's see. Well, the advice is there, Pisces. Be very careful. Be very mindful. Be particularly um, standoffish with people who you may feel could be that, you know, have those intentions in mind. It's crazy how people just come up with these crazy plans. To, like fuck up people over like I think I've never ever done that before in my life you know what I mean like who does that like I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go do this and <laughs> it's like what but anyway uh, it is what it is Pisces so I hope that this message really helps you I know it's not the the nicest thing to hear in a money reading I know that um, as you guys know my readings tend to be as positive as possible but you know the whole point of them is also to receive any kind of heads up that is needed, especially when it's something that, you know, feels that important. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> Pisces, I love you to the moon and back. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm going to be posting a lot of Pisces focus readings. I'm going to be um, posting a lot, you know, in general. I'm feeling very well today. I feel like connecting to you guys and giving you as much possible uh, channeled information as I can. If you ever want to say thank you for that, for the readings, for the channel, if you want to become a sponsor of the channel, you can click on the join button next to the subscribe button and you can become a permanent or like long term member of the channel. Or you can purchase your Pisces as fuck mug. Get yourself a little treat and support the channel as well. Donations are always appreciated, guys, so much. All the information is going to be under the video below. 
And also remember that I've created a lot of very powerful tools for you and your healing in case you need them at any point. There is a past life regression course in which you get four past life uh, regression therapies. It's the closest thing to have me as a past life regression therapist in your house, <laughs> like next to you. <laughs> um, also the abundance blueprint course to help you heal your relationship with money. The level one tarot course for those of you who are beginners and want to, you know, start to learn a little bit about the cards. And last but not least, the energy protection course, which is to me the best one, the most important one, and it's actually the most recent one as well. So you can check that out. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.